Hey guys, it's Bart. And Dave. And first off, we want to apologize for not being around yesterday. We are very, very sorry. We're horribly sorry. Well, we were around. Where were we, Dave? We were celebrating Pride. Woo! So we're wearing our Pride gear right now. Very proud. It is, or it was, yeah. the last Pride of us being childless. Yeah. Although our baby will march, but when she can, <laughs> when she can march. <laughs> <laughs> she will be strolled. She will be strolled <laughs> down those New York streets. Maybe next year, or you know what? She has to be okay with it. She has yeah. to give us our, our her permission. Yeah. So we don't want to exploit her. Anyway, at some point, maybe she'll march with us. Yeah. And um, on that note, how big is her baby right yeah. now? So right. baby's now thirty-five weeks, right? Yeah. Which means that she is the size of this iron. Which oh, even more amazing than her being this size is that we actually have an iron. Which well, I didn't realize. Yeah, I found it in our closet. I've known we've had an iron for five years now, <laughs> but that's just me, right? Yeah, he, he does a lot of the laundry. Oh, so excited you found it. He's so excited. excited. Anyway, we're going to get to our topic of today, and that is gender selection. So this means um, essentially during the testing of IVF, when before you actually implant an embryo, there's a number of tests that are done to make sure the baby is uh, disease-free, that it's a healthy embryo, mm. right? PGD. 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 I spend a lot of time memorizing this acronym, which oh. is pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Oh, so the yeah, E's kind of right. stuck in there. Yeah. Wait, there's nothing. PGD. Oh, GD. <laughs> it's just PGD. I got it right. I got it right. He's right. I'm wrong. I spent like five minutes more ways in there. So proud of you. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so anyways, so um, you can do this uh, g gender selection and it's pretty controversial because as soon as you start selecting gender, then you can you know, start selecting chromosomes and attributes. Next thing you know, you've got this crazy race of super IVF babies that are taking over the planet one surrogate at a time. Just to be clear, you can't change the chromosomes <laughs> or attributes yet, but this is yeah. the fear many people have, but like, this is a slippery slope. This is the future. This is the, th part of this is like, you know, 2020, you know? To a show? No, the future. Oh, the future. Um, but anyway, so this is very controversial. <laughs> and um, yeah, for, you know, for, the, for various reasons. And you know, Chrissy Teigen decided, you know, she tweeted that she wanted to, you know, she purposely chose a female embryo because she wanted to see her husband, John Legend, with a little girl. Uh, it set the interwebs aflame. They were very angry with her. And so anyways, there's no right or wrong answer. In all, of these, in all of our videos, you know, hopefully you've learned by now that everything is a shade of gray. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, our thought process was, you know, we were thinking about doing this, you know, it came down to these gender norms. Like, you know, often there's a lot of different reasons for choosing a gender, but often it's because you have this idea of what raising a boy is going to be like, or what raising a girl is going to be like. But what if our little girl is a tomboy and she's not this, you know, well-behaved, less rowdy than a boy, but actually she's like a total tyrant and she... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope she's not a tyrant. <laughs> so, but that was kind of the line of thinking that made us sort of just decide, you know what, we're just going to roll the dice and just do it the natural way and just sort of... As natural as it could be for us. <laughs> the non-G, D, now I can't remember the acronym. See, can't remember that acronym. Yep. Um, but so we decided not to do it. But not this, you know, no right or wrong answer, but for us, you know, we just felt like it was a little bit too much controlling thing, sort of play with nature and really also uh, not you know, conforming with these gender stereotypes that may not be what your child is like. So yeah, yeah. that's our decision. And we're very excited for our little girl, just about a month out. Yeah, crazy, crazy times. Yeah. And uh, we will see you next week. Yeah, very interesting topic. See you then. Bye.